Hi all, this video is going to show you how to do the in-class audio project one, making an audio collage. So if you go to the modules here in Blackboard, sorry, in Canvas, <laughs> scroll down to in-class project one, and it's going to give you all the instructions and in detail. I'm just going to make this bigger to see, and zoom in a bit. So it says, first of all, we're going to open a new project. So let's do that. I'm going to go into Ableton Live. It's on a Mac, but it'll be the same in PC. And I have a new project here. I'm going to save it right away, too. I'm going to say, Save Live Set. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down, and there'll be a place called Thaw Space down here. Click on there. Or you can save to your desktop for the moment. It's fine. So I'll say, um, I call it last name. first name and then it tells me what to name it actually in here too let's see escape out of here top it says please read everything in yada yada upload mp3 and zip file after you're done okay how do I name it last dot first dot one audio collage mp3 or last dot first dot one Basically, I'm saying who I am and that it's the first audio collage assignment. So, cool. I'm going to save that to my desktop for the moment, someplace I can find it. Now, let's go back there and look at this thing. So I'm going to need to drag audio, clap, audio clips into the timeline. So I'm going to go to the little clips area and search for this one, Radio Waves 2. Just going to try to copy it here. And go to Clips, paste it in there. Here's Radio Waves 2. And it says, um, drag to measure one beginning. Oops, I first actually got to set this beats per minute to 90 BPMs. So let's do that. Go over here. Tap in here and type in 90 and enter. Okay, now let's see what it's saying here. Take this thing, drag it to measure one or the beginning of the piece. Okay, first can see if it sounds like. I'm going to drag it somewhere to measure one. You can see here it's measure one here at the very beginning. Great. Next thing, going to get this one called FX Affix and drag to measure three. So I'm going to type that in here. Cool. Drag it to measure three. Here's the one in the beginning, two, three. If I'm not sure, I can click here and zoom in further because sometimes it's not far in enough and I can't see where my numbers are. There it is, three. When I drag it, I need to put my cursor up high enough so it turns into the hand thing. When I do, I can drag it around. Cool. Let's do the next one. Now I want to take this 90 Bushwick thing and drag to measure 5. Go in here, edit and paste. Now it says 90 Bushwick, it's actually a little bit more um, extended. 90 Bushwick beat is what I need. So I'm going to do this beat one. And what measure did it say to drag it to? It said measure 5. So I'm going to 5, measure 5. Bring it on a new track here. Great. Let's go back again. Now we finally need 
90 wave scalpel. Gonna copy that again. Control C. Drag to measure nine, it says. You can hit Control A to select all. And then paste. Maybe I typed it wrong. Let's, let's just try wave scalpel. Yeah, there it is. Drag it somewhere to a new area, a new track to be on, and put it onto nine. Cool. I'm actually going to go to view and I'm going to make it so I can see everything. Zoom out to arrangement. It's going to let me see all my files. Um, or I can sit control A to select everything. And if I hit Z, let's zoom actually up here a bit. Z is going to show me everything, and Shift Z makes it really small. So Z is what I want. If you can't see a bunch of stuff, you may want to click on these to get rid of showing some of them. This is inputs and outputs, and this thing called sends and returns, and um, mixer section. We don't necessarily always need to see all this stuff. I just want to basically see all my different sound files. I'm going to even move this thing down so I can have more room to see that. Now it's easier to see all my stuff. Cool. Maybe even move this over. Let's go back and see what's next. Arrange them in a specific order. Well, actually I just did that as described in part two. Now I'm going to have to duplicate something. So it says select a Brunswick or a Bushwick and hit Control D to duplicate five times. So this is going to be a total of six of them. So let's do that. This one is the Bushwick. I'm going to hit Edit and Duplicate. Here it says the squiggly thing D. On a PC that would be Control. Okay, on a Mac with the Apple button. So we hit Control D. One, two, three, four, five. Now there's six of those things. Now select the wave scalpel one and duplicate it once. So there's two of those. Okay. Wave scalpel, hit, control D. Cool. And looks like that's it for duplicate. We don't want things to automatically be getting really loud all the time. We want them to slowly come into the loudness or fade in. So let's do that. It says radio waves. Make a four measure fade in. Measures are the things listed up here. One, two, three, four. It tells you how long things are. So um, to make fades, you go to the top corner of one of these audio clips and you go right up to this little square button. You click on that and drag. I'm going to drag this all the way till I get to four. Here's four. And now it's going to slowly fade in. Cool. Okay, so it did that. Go to Bushwick, two measure fade in to measure fade out. Bushwick, to measure fade in. Okay, what that's going to mean for us is from five to seven over here in the beginning. So go up to the top part of it, hit on this little square thingy, and drag all the way over essentially, because that's two measures. Now I'm going to go to the end of it. I'm going to do the opposite direction from the top right click and drag over. So now that's going to fade in in the beginning of it and out at the end. 
Great. What else? Wave scalpel to measure fade out on last clip instance. Every time you have a little clip that's been duplicated, it's called an instance of that clip or instance of that loop. Two measures here would be from 15 to 17. 15 to 17. So let's go down there. It says two measure fade out. That's the same length as this Bushwick one. So I'm just going to make it go to there. What else do I have to do? Almost done. It's saying now we're going to adjust the track volumes, how loud each of these individual recordings is so that we can mix them all together. Um, minus 18 for radio waves. And where is that information? If I don't have it showing, I go down to here and this thing shows my mixer. All these little levels here. And again, the thing I'm looking for is radio waves. So let's go back there. Here's my radio waves up, up here. I'm going to go ahead and rename that too from what it was previously. That's the title. What's it called over here? I'm going to take this one where it says zero. That's how loud it is. Click on it and type minus 18 and hit enter. Turns down the volume. I can pull these up and down too. I can go like this. But it's more precise sometimes to type it in. Next one, FX affix one, minus 15, Bushwick minus 9. This one, go minus 15, enter, Bushwick, click on it, minus, oops, that was plus, minus 9. Did I do that? No, I don't think so. Minus 9. Finally, wave scalpel minus eight. Cool. That should be all done here. Um, I want to select all of this stuff now because of, I'm going to take this whole thing and export it as a song. So Ableton Live needs to know what do you want to export as a song? And so I'm going to Hit Control A or Edit um, and select all. It's going to select everything here. And then I can either hit this loop button. Um, that's going to actually just select the current loop part. Or since I know this is the whole length of something, if I do that, sorry if I hit just uh, Control L. Control L is better apparently, because it automatically selects whatever the length of what you selected is. So let's try this again. So this is a loop that I happen to have there. If I hit control all and then control L for a loop. Yeah, not only puts it on loop, but it selects the entire region for us. This is good because we want to export all this. We push play, all things will play back. save again to just to make sure everything's in there and I haven't lost anything. Now what I want to do is I want to export the whole thing as an mp3. So let's do that. I'm going to file, export. I don't want this PCM thing. We'll look at that later. That means an uncompressed audio file. I want an mp3. So I'll make sure just that's on, mp3. And then I hit export. 
and it's going to export it to the last place I was exporting. That's not where I want it to be at the moment. So I'm going to actually go to desktop and say export there, save. So now if I go to my uh, desktop, I see where I just exported this now and play it back. Perfect, that all works. So. Um, let us now close this because what we need to do next is package everything to upload it to canvas. So I'll say live or sorry, file and close, or I can just go live and quit live. Okay. The thing it was telling me earlier is it's saying export MP3. We're going to load it to canvas. Also save the live set. That's the whole main folder and thing we do in Ableton Live. It's going to be in a folder, but it's going to say right click on it and zip it up. This will be different in Windows. In Windows it'll say, I'm going to do this, right click on Windows, it'll say send to compress folder. We'll look at this in class, but on a Mac it just says compress. Windows again, it'll say send to and say compress folder dot zip. When we do that, it makes this one called dot zip. So we have dot zip and dot mp3. These are the ones we want. Great. Now let's go to canvas and find that. Oh right, it's over here. Keep on going to that wrong place because I have it in um, full screen mode. Okay. So I have this project. Let's zoom out a little bit. submit assignment. So I'm going to submit a file. First I'm going to go to choose and zip and then add another file and choose and mp3 and hit submit. can upload all this stuff. Once it's done, I can look at the submission details here. It says I've submitted this zipped up folder and I've zipped up um, an mp3 as well. And that's all.